Guys, I have the Dees Permanent Hair Removal Beauty Device Light 3 Plus right here. Now, I've been wanting to try laser hair removal for a long time because, well, shaving sucks. You know it, I know it. But going to a retail location is very expensive, and who can afford that? And you got to keep going back and going back, and it costs a lot of money. And a lot of these hair removal things, devices, are kind of expensive, but yet if you stop and think about it, if you pit, spend a hundred and fifty some dollars on this, then you're done for three hundred and fifty thousand flashes, which will last quite a while, honestly, unless you do your whole entire body over and over and over again. But anyway, um, this one by Dees is extremely simple. And it comes with everything you need. It has the bulb, which I've already attached. It has the device. It has the power cord. And it has these super cool sunglasses that just fold up. So that they're small and out of the way. Now, to use this device is super simple. You push the button for about three seconds until you hear the fan. And then you wait until everything changes colors. And then you can set your, um, I don't know how well you can see these lights, but you can set your intensity level from one to five just with a click of the button, a quick click. And it sends it up to the next level. Like I said, I don't know if you can see the lights too well. And then you, if you get it too far up, you can restart it just by clicking it back down. Now, you should always start with the first level to make sure that the intensity is not too high for you. Because you don't want this to be extremely uncomfortable. It's not like you are waxing. That hurts no matter what you do. This should not really, really hurt. Then you need to check it on an area of your body, like your arm. Let me put these glasses on quick before I show you this flash so I don't blind myself. But you put it on an area, you wait, make sure that your lights are all green, and then you just simply push the button if I can find it. Push the button for about one second and then it pops. Now, you need to um, do this in some area and then you can just keep increasing the in intensity, but don't put it back on the same spot. Move it until you find the intensity that you need to use for your personal coloring or whatever. It should feel a little bit tingly and a little bit warm, but it shouldn't, you know, be excruciating. Then you do your um, your treatment wherever you want to do it. You can do it on your face, your arms, your underarms, your legs, your bikini area, wherever you have hair, you know, that you don't want to continue to shave for the rest of your life. You should start seeing some results if you're doing it correctly within three to four tries, treatments, which you should do one treatment a week up to about 10 to 12 treatments. After three to four treatments, you should see a, a difference and you know you're doing it right. If you have your intensity too low, it may not work at all. If you have it too high, then um, you're going to burn yourself and you're not going to want to do it. So, you do one treatment a week for 8 to 12 weeks, or 10 to 12 weeks, sorry, um, until the hair no longer grows back. And then you would do a treatment every 4 to 6 weeks after that just to, you know, make sure that it doesn't come back. Um, the amount of time that it takes to do this depends on what body part you're wanting to do it. If you want to do it on your face and chin area, you know, your upper lip and all your sideburns, whatever, um, it only takes a few minutes. 
if you're doing your legs, well, that's going to take quite a bit longer because you got to go all the way around your leg and all the way up your leg. So it, it, it could be a little intense. You may want to do, um, you know, one leg one day and one day leg the next day or, or whatever. That's up to you depending on how much time you have. Um, you should shave with a regular razor before you do the treatments. That way, you know, if, if you do get like a, a burny, tingly type feeling, um, you don't have to go around with whiskers for the next day until you feel like shaving it again. But it also works better for some reason if you shave first. You do want the skin to be clean and dry when you do this. I, I will tell you that. Now, personally, I had a hysterectomy about 15 years ago, and I did not have any hormone replacement, and I still do not. So, I have what is called man hair that grows on my chin, my upper lip, um, my legs, my underarms. I have to shave daily. So, I don't have, you know man hair and that's why I was wanting to try this and I have done two treatments so far and the hair does maybe seem like I don't know if it's wishful thinking but it does seem to be growing back a little bit slower and that's what I you know really really want I would like to be hair free personally so but check this out on Amazon so far it is it is super easy to do and for what the whole set cost and even if I was to have thrown in some replacement bulbs it would be cheaper than what it was going to cost for one treatment at a retail location um, check this out it is warranted for two years as well and they do have um, other bulbs that you can buy to go with this you can get a beauty light which um, and an acne light. One that helps, you know, take away acne and it helps with the scars and the wrinkles and different things like that. So, check these out on Amazon and just read the reviews and do um, your own investigating. Even if you don't buy this one, check them out. And really look into them good before you choose one. But this one I did Google and not only Amazon, but I did Google it and I read lots and lots of reviews from different places on it before I accepted to try this one. But check it out. The link's below.